Hi guys, another Amster food review. Tropy fit, Syrian mix. So I'm going to get this bad boy open, have a look at it, and I'll just go and get the composition, and I'll be back in a tick. Right guys, let's see. <sighs> Protein, 16.7%. Fat, 4.5%, fibre, 3.5%, so I'm going to uh, get this open now and we'll have a good look and see what we think. Right guys, first impression, looks okay, smells okay, nothing too pungent, got bananas, locust beans, nuggets, fruit so we'll just get um, a couple of these out all right guys we'll just put that there so you can have a closer look as you can see got nice big pieces of banana it's got various nuggets and yeah it's uh, got pea flakes, as you can see. So it doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look too bad at all. So um, what we're doing, I'm going to see if I can see the ingredients and just uh, see if there's anything iffy in it, and then we'll uh, I'll let you. I'll do the scoring and then uh, let you think. You know what you think. So I'll see you in a moment. Right, guys. I'll just see if there's anything iffy in this. Now bear with me, because I'm just trying to find it, because I've got to go through all these different languages. Let's have a see what we've got here. It's so strange. Here we go. Fruit, seeds, vegetables, meat and animal derivatives, oils, fats, Colorants, that's uh, be aware of that, guys. Colorants, and uh, yes, that's basically, uh, yeah, that's it. Yes, it's just basically fruit, vegetables, seeds. So, nothing I can see there obvious that stands out. So, guys. Now let's get back to this. Now it's got a lot of fruit in, you can see that, and uh, quite a few nuggets. Got a, a few tiny seeds in there bananas, pea flakes, corn flakes. So it's basically what you expect from a um, A normal hamster mix. No, it's just a premium one. Oh yeah, there you go. There you go, guys. High quality guaranteed. So if you remember when I did the dwarf version or oh, quite a while ago, that was just like the little tiny um, nuggets. They look like the little green and pink cupcakes, if you remember. And it looked really, really cute. And uh, so, yeah, you can see what it's got there. Sweet corn. A few flowers, grass, stuff like that. And a cute little hamster like Maisie was. Bananas. So, yeah, I'd say, I'd say it's got um, 
everything that an hamster needs. So we'll just move that over there. And now I'll do the scores. Packaging, 10 out of 10. It's nice, it's glossy, it's eye-catching, got a cute hamster on, 10 out of 10. Quality, I'd say 7 out of 10, but it doesn't look too bad. The smell, let's have a whiff. Very pleasant, so I'd say the smell is 9 out of 10. It's very, very pleasant. And uh, it's not the best food I've seen, obviously, and it's certainly not the worst. It's about, I'd say, three quarters, three quarters away up the higher. So I'd say, uh, I'd say just a bit more than in the middle. So you're doing nothing else. I'd definitely feed this to Syrians, no question asked. And um, but it seems to be freely available now. You can get it on Amazon. You can get it on eBay and um yeah so that's the scores on that one the presentation of it variety wise could could have done with a bit more uh natural colorings instead of colorants so that's what's going against it colorants and but apart from that as you can see guys it's, uh, just hold on a minute, there you go. Got quite a bit of variety in it. Mainly, uh, it's mainly based with, um, filled up with nuggets, but that's nothing to worry about. Because uh, if you wanted to use it, you could always add different muesli mixes to it. But it has got quite a nice bit variety in there. If it's got those black logs in, they might not eat them. If, you, if you've got a serian that doesn't like black logs. Alfalfa, whatever they're made up of. So, yeah, guys. I think that's pretty, uh, pretty good. So, if you want to give it a try, guys. It's... What size bag is it? Let's have a look. What size bag? Let's have a look. It's on here somewhere. Here we go. Right, let's have a look. 500 gram bag. So, yes, if you want to get it, it's available on eBay, Amazon. Yes, and probably a few other places if you had a look round. And, yeah. So, you've got another uh, food review coming soon as well, which is the Tura Syrian Mix. So that's coming soon because that's in the in the other room waiting to be done. So yeah, guys, I'd say um, yeah, it, it, I I can't see a problem with this. Um, the only problem, like I said, the downside is it's got colorants in it. So do be aware of that. Um, uh, and I I don't feed hamsters uh, colorants anymore because I just feed them the natural foods. But if there wasn't anything else, then I wouldn't. Then obviously I'd be quite happy to give them this temporarily, but uh, or even as an add-on. I mean, I don't see why you couldn't use this as a little treat mix, like as an add-on as well. I mean, the possibilities are endless. So I'll leave that for you to decide, and because only you know what's best for your hammy. But all I'm saying is I've got no problem with it, apart from the colourants. The ingredients are okay. The smells okay. And the packaging's okay. So, yeah. Uh, any questions, you know the dig. And the, uh, the information, you know the dig. The uh, the compositions will always be down in the description. And, um, yeah. Now, quickly before I go, uh, George finishes his, it finished his antibiotics and it, it definitely now looks like a congestive heart failure. So I'm just playing it day by day now with him, guys. So, and just see what, what, um, what happens. 
He's uh he's very comfortable and he's uh he's he's not so bad really. It's just apart from his breathing not breathing, his chest coming in and out. Not his chest, his belly, you know, his heart racing. So that's um uh, quite sad really, but that's what happens when you're on hamsters, you, you you know what you're taking on, you know the lifespan. So yeah, so there you go. So that's that and what there was something else I had to mention as well. Now what was it? I've done the food and what was it I meant to there was something else like as well I was going to put I was supposed to say and I completely forgot what it is. I mentioned George um what else was it now? <laughs> Don't you hate it when you get brain fog? Oh, you just you just hate it. Can't have been that important anyway. When I think of it, I'll mention it in another video more than likely. And um, yeah, so that's that's the story with um, with George and. Uh, Basically keeping him comfortable, give, making sure he's getting some food down him and uh, yeah, just take it from there really and uh, yeah, so back to this, you know the dig and um, you've got one more coming soon in the next, uh, um, well, I'll try and get it done in the next few days so yeah. So, catch you later.